It's time for another episode of What I Wore This Week. Welcome back and welcome if you are new here. In today's video, I have a good mix of outfits. And of course, as always, you can tweak anything you need to to make it work for your lifestyle. And the weather is perfect. The sun is coming out, but we still have a little bit of like chilly mornings, chilly evenings. So I did a mix of things and I even played around with how I style boots in the spring weather. So stay tuned for some really fun outfits. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. This is Park Avenue, where I have tons of fashion content. And if you love outfit ideas, unboxings, lifestyle content, I've got something for you. Check out some of my other videos. And when you find something you like, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because I upload multiple times a week and I don't want you to miss a thing. Now, before we jump into the video, it's time for today's subscriber shout out. And today I am shouting out Tamira Janelle Style. And she left a comment saying, girl, your audiobook is so informative. I don't think people realize that they could really learn so much from it. I love how you use you and Winston's voice in different sections. It's very personable. You gave a lot of valuable information for a low price. Thank you so much, Tamira. I really appreciate that comment. You guys don't even know when you leave those testimonials in regards to the ebook, then you guys are helping me tremendously. And it just lets me know that you're finding value in the information that I'm providing. So I really appreciate it. And it just makes me happy that you guys are taking a step into the direction of what you wanna do. So I really love that. And if you're new here, or maybe you've been watching my videos and you're like thinking about it, Tamira's comment was in reference to my ebook, which is a guide it's a step-by-step -step guide and everything that i did to get to where i am now on youtube like literally it has actionable steps that you can take to also get your youtube channel going maybe you already have a youtube channel um and you're kind of like stagnant you're not sure what to do then this ebook is for you um maybe you're just starting out you're thinking about starting a youtube channel and you don't know where to start then this ebook is for you as well the ebook is available in audio version and I'm just really excited to share it with you guys. So definitely check the link in the description box. And if you're new here, you might not know that I actually not long ago quit my nine to five job to be able to do this full time. So I'm telling you guys exactly what I did in that book to be able to make that happen. So definitely check it out if you're interested. I'll have the link in the description box. Now let's jump into the first look. Starting off with this dress by Pell and Pup, I recently collaborated with the brand and I have really been obsessed with these dresses. I wore the pink one in New York and I got so many comments, DMs, and questions about the shapewear that I'm wearing underneath the dress. Now I'm gonna tell you guys about that, but first I wanna talk through the look. So this dress, I now have in two colors and I'm interested in picking it up in the black as well once it comes back in stock because my size isn't available, but I really love this dress. This is the kind of dress that you can throw on to wear to like, you know, maybe like daytime events, dates, um, just casually around the house with a pair of flat sandals. Here I wanted to show you a casual way to style it because when I styled the pink version of this dress, I did it more like a dressed up kind of a thing. It's still daytime appropriate, but definitely a little bit more dressed up. Here, I just decided to not wear the belt. I think it really just made it more casual without the belt. And then I threw on a pair of my Gucci mules and it was perfect. This shoe is just a very easy, like throw on go-to shoe for me, but the style of it is very like upscale and put together and very rich. So I like that combination and then paired with this dress is perfect. So this is something that I would wear out to lunch if I had, you know, errands to run in the daytime, but I still wanted to, you know, be kind of cute. This is perfect. And as the weather continues to warm up, I will also wear this dress with sandals because I'm always cold. And so a knit like this is gonna do really well, like early summer, maybe like the end of spring, obviously not in the dead of summer, but it's still gonna work really well because everywhere I go, the air conditioner is on blast. So for me, this is gonna be perfect. And I know so many of you love the dress as well. So. If you have been able to get your hands on it, well, I just recently posted um, about the dress when I wore the pink one. So let me know when you guys finally do get it because I really wanna know what you think about it and how it fits and how much you love it because girl, you're gonna love it. This dress is so good and I definitely want it in other colors. Now that brings me to what I'm wearing underneath the dress. Now I'll link my undergarments um, in the description box. So definitely check it out. I'm actually gonna do a whole updated video on shapewear and the pieces that I love because it is more of a, I wouldn't say complicated, but it's a little bit more long-winded than me just saying, oh, this is the shapewear that I wear because I have different pieces for different for different um, like style of clothing, different pieces for um, like the different, I guess, level 
of smoothing that I'm trying to get from each piece. And I just have some general thoughts and things that I wanna share in that video, so stay tuned for a full updated shapewear video. But underneath this shapewear, um, underneath the dress that I'm wearing, I will link to the shapewear in the description box. And it just so happens that it's on sale. These That is one of my favorite brands, the brand that I'm gonna link to. And it just so happens that it is on sale. So I bought a few pieces. So now is the time I would encourage you guys to check out some of the other uh, pieces that are available from this site while the sale is going on. Um, but really, really great shapewear. So I will link it for you guys. Check it out, it's in the description box. And for my handbag, I decided to go with my Louis puzzle. I love this bag. I'm gonna style it over and over again because it just goes with everything and it fits a lot. So that's why I love it along with the shape, the color, the panels are really interesting. And you know, the Louis puzzle is a pretty, um, you know, well-known bag. So when you look at it, you know what it is, but it doesn't have logos all over it, which I really do appreciate. I really like this. And this whole look, very comfortable. It's very chic, it's put together, but it's very classy. Like I just love this entire look. And back to the dress, I do have a coupon code for you guys to get 20% off the entire Pedal and Pup site if you wanna check out some of the other pieces. And I will have that in the description box. And I'll also link to the video where I shared all the Pedal and Pup pieces that I got. So make sure you check the cards if you wanna check out that video and you haven't watched it already. Now let's jump into the next look. Now here's the next look I wanna share with you guys. And I really like this outfit. So let's start with the top. The denim jacket I'm wearing is from Topshop. I've had this one for a while, but any distressed denim jacket is gonna do, or any denim jacket you guys have that's cropped really, it doesn't even have to be distressed. So you probably already have something, but it's okay if it's not cropped, as long as it's not a long line denim jacket, because then you're throwing off the proportions with the skirt. But if you already have a denim jacket, that isn't cropped, just like a standard denim jacket, it will work here. And then underneath that denim jacket, I'm wearing one of my favorite kinds of tops. These are the body contour tops from Express. I have so many colors and it's just really important to have a really nice white color. This one is more like a creamy shade, it's not stark white, but I also have that one as well. So you can do a regular white t-shirt if you want it to. You don't have to do um, you know, one of the body contour tops or you don't have to even do this creamy shade. You can just do regular white. But I do really like the body contour top specifically specifically for reasons like this, to wear under things. Um, they have so many colors available that it just, there's just a color to match every single outfit you're gonna think of. I really like them, they're sleeveless and they're, they're just really great layering pieces. They are cropped, but the skirt is high waist. So it's just a really nice combination. In fact, the skirt is actually such a high waist uh, skirt that I can slightly tuck in the crop top, so it was nice. And then the skirt that I'm wearing is new. I got this from Nordstrom Rack actually, but it's by Valentino, so this is a really nice find. When I saw it on the rack, it was literally the only one sitting there. I didn't know what size it was, and when I picked it up, I was like, oh, this looks like it can fit me. And I put it on and it does fit. It's just like slightly big in the waist, but that's you know nothing that a little tailoring can't solve. And I just really love it. The red color is just nice and vibrant. And of course, a pleated skirt has that really gorgeous movement. And I love the length on it and everything. It's just like a really nice skirt. And then for my shoes, I decided to pair it with my Spiral Bottegas. And I love these so much. They just worked really nicely. And the top that I'm wearing is more like a creamy shade. It's not like stark white. And it just matched my Bottegas really well because they're more like a creamy shade as well. So overall, a really fun outfit. But of course, you can swap out any of the pieces that you need to. Um, like let's say you just already had a basic white tank top. You can do that underneath instead of the body contour top. And then for my shoes, you can switch that out into a pair of sneakers if you wanted to, or a pump. You can play around with what you have because honestly this overall look is very simple and you probably have pieces that look similar to this. But of course, if you want to uh, you know, recreate this look exactly, then I'll have the pieces that are still available in the description box. And whatever's not available, I always link to something similar. So check the description box. And for accessories, I went with my Chloe Tess, perfect for this look. And for my sunglasses, I went with my oversized Gucci shades. These are the butterfly sunglasses that I wear all the time. I love these. They're just like perfect, the perfect statement. And they're too much, but they're perfect. <laughs> Next up, I love this outfit. Now this is totally appropriate for the daytime. And if you wanted to wear something like this into work, you would just have to swap out a couple of pieces like the top and maybe the shoes. And if not, if you didn't want to swap out anything, you could wear this for cocktails, date night, you know, like an evening out on the town. This is a really good outfit. Starting with the top, I'm wearing a blazer and the crop top underneath. They're both from Express. I really love this blazer, first of all. I have it now in like three colors. It's, it has some stretch to it. It's really comfortable to wear. I love that the buttons are the same color as the actual blazer. It looks expensive and it feels good. 
and I love the way it like comes in and, and creates that nice silhouette. It's a really nice blazer. And underneath, I'm wearing a body contour top, but this is their more cropped version. This is a lot more cropped than the other one that I shared with you guys. And this one has a square neckline and a smaller, like uh, skinnier straps, but you can wear your bra underneath it. Even though the straps are skinny, they're wide enough to cover a bra strap. So that's really nice. And then on the bottom, I'm wearing a pair of cargos from Express. I love these so much. They fit really nice. The waist is nice and high and they come in other colors as well. I decided to go with black just because I've really been attracted to black lately. Um, and I just think these are a really nice classic pair. These are perfect for a lot of different situations. And that's what attracted me to them because you can wear these into an office and style them up with just like a bit basic like button up um, blouse or a camisole and throw a blazer over it. Or you can wear these uh, for an evening out and do something really like off the shoulder or um, something low cut on top, have the cargos on and then do a sandal like I'm showing you here. So you can really play around a lot with these and I love the fact that they'll be able to take you you know, day to night in different situations. I really like that about these. So they're a really good investment. And the shoes that I'm wearing are from Nordstrom. They're by the brand Schutz and they're very affordable. A lot of you asked me about them when I posted them on Instagram. So definitely check the description box. I love that they have that patent leather finish and the heel is very comfortable because it has a wider base. So overall, a really great pair of shoes. If you're looking for a really nice strappy sandal for like events or date nights and things like that, they're really good. And for a handbag, I decided to just throw on my Saint Laurent puffer. I'm wearing it here like a clutch, but it does have the longer handles. And as the weather warms up, I'll still continue to wear this bag. I get questions about that, um, whether I wear it more like in the winter time. Now, if you're someone who wears black in the summer, this is a, a bag that's great for the summer as well. If you don't tend to wear black in the summer, if you feel like black is heavy, um, you know, if you don't feel like it's a good bag to wear in the summer, then it's not for you. But I wear it in the summer as well. To me, this bag is seasonless. I do tend to reach for it more in the winter months, but to me, this bag is seasonless and I will continue to style it, you know, in my summer wardrobe. Next up, this outfit is perfect for this in-between weather that we have. And I'm wearing a leather jacket from Nasty Gal. I really love this. It just feels really good. I love the shade of brown. It's honestly perfect. And then underneath that, I'm wearing another one of the body contour tops from Express, this time in black. Love this for layering, you know, like I said earlier. And then I'm wearing a denim skirt from The Gap. This is a mini skirt, which I really love. I love to wear mini skirts with boots and I love to wear them layered under like longer line, like vests or this jacket, like I'm showing you here. And then I just have like a little bit of leg and then I have on a pair of boots. Now these boots are from Steve Madden. I got these from DSW a while back. If they're still available, of course I will link to them, but I really love styling boots and skirts and a bare leg. It's just a really nice look. It's fun. And this entire look is giving me a 70s vibe. I really love that. And then for glasses, I'm wearing a pair of my Mason Margiela Sunnies. And then I decided to go with my Chloe Tess because she was just perfect with this look. And here's the final look that I want to show you guys. And I'm wearing this top that I have on right now. This is from Zara. I like just like basic oversized button up shirts. They come in handy more than you will realize. When you're looking for something to wear with a pair of shorts, throw on an oversized button up shirt. If you're looking for something to wear with a pair of jeans, throw on an oversized button up shirt. If you're looking for something to wear with a denim skirt, throw on an oversized button up shirt. I'm telling you guys, an oversized button up shirt looks good with slacks. It looks good with jeans. It looks good with skirts. I mean, everything. You will be surprised how much you reach for it. Even biker shorts. An oversized button up shirt looks good with biker shorts. So these are just really good basics to have. You know, maybe like a blue. I would suggest just having white for sure. But if you like a little bit of color or if you want to have a selection, then, you know, like a blue like this, a pink, a black, those kinds of things you'll always reach for and wear over and over again. And for shoes, now I have been getting questions about these now that I'm wearing them again. These are from Zara. I had worn these out last year. Last summer, I wore these over and over and over again, you guys. I have styled these shoes probably for the last two years. I mean, I have had these a while and I have styled them over and over again. Now, I don't know if they're still available at the time that I'm making this video, but when I um, you know, update the description box, I'll be sure to leave a link if it is. Now, if you can find these, I would say pick up two pair. This is the backup pair that I got when I first bought these shoes because I did not want to be without them. Now they are from Zara, so they're not gonna last you forever, but um, they're a really great shoe and they have lasted me a long time. And so now I've parted ways with the older ones and now I just decided that I was gonna move on to the new pair that I had. And so hopefully you guys can get your hands on them because they're really the shoe that I wear when I don't know what shoes to wear. 
They go with everything. They're like a Barbie doll shoe, in my opinion, because they just elongate your legs, but it looks like there's nothing on your foot. They go with absolutely everything. And I'm telling you guys, if you get these, they're just like the perfect sandal. They are very comfortable. I've gotten questions about that. Now, I'm sure that's individual comfort level and heels. That's going to be um, subjective. I find that they're really comfortable. I can wear them for hours and I, they're not tight across my foot at all whatsoever. And I find that the more I wear them, the more they, the, the, they actually mold to my foot. You know what I'm saying? So definitely recommend them. They're a really great sandal. And for my accessories, I decided to go with my yellow Saint Laurent Sac de Jour. I love a good color pop and this bag is just so perfect. And then for my sunglasses, I'm wearing my oversized Gucci shades with the blue lenses that I had to absolutely have. I've had them for a while now, but they were a pair of sunglasses that I had to track down. So I just love these. And I'd like to have another pair. They come in like yellow or I've seen them in yellow. I don't know if they're still available, but I have seen them in yellow and I'd like to have a yellow pair as well. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's outfits. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. And make sure you guys check out the closet sale as well because there have been so many new pieces added to the closet sale and I don't want you to miss if you have seen something on my channel and you wanted to pick it up but maybe it's sold out. Check the description box because I'll have a link to the closet sale. Some of the pieces have tags. Some have been uh, never worn. Some are just gently used. So definitely check the description box, you guys, because there are new pieces added all the time. And handbags. I know that that was a big thing for a lot of you. You were interested in knowing if I was going to put any handbags up on the closet sale. And now there are lots. So definitely check the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? I would love to have you. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Be sure to check out my ebook. You guys, I got such a positive response from so many of you and I thank you guys so much. I'm so happy you guys loved uh, my ebook where I share with you guys everything that I have done to get to the point that I'm at right now. I get so many questions about how to be successful on YouTube, what I did, you know, any tips that I have to offer and literally everything is in that guide. And I got so much good feedback from you guys about how valuable you feel that this guide is and it truly is so now i'm really excited to say that you guys can get the audio version of this ebook i know a lot of you might be very busy but you still want to learn how to succeed on youtube you want some tips and some guidance and i know that a lot of people are just really busy maybe you're a mom maybe you are only able to listen while you're like on the computer at work so this audiobook is going to allow you to do that it's going to give you all the same information but now you can just listen and you don't have to sit in one place and read we're all very busy and I know we all are multitasking, but you still want to be able to get the information. So the audiobook is now live. You guys check the description box and pick it up. And I would love to know you guys' feedback. It helps so much in me just like, you know, being able to share more with you guys and just know that you're able to receive the information. So definitely check the description box. I'm really excited for this and I cannot wait for you guys to check it out as well. Oh.